So this one time during grad school, I walked into the lab and uh, saw a fellow grad student sitting at the computers. He uh, looked very depressed as if uh, someone in his family had just passed away. And so I asked him, hey, is everything okay? And so he turns to me and he says, hey man, Pluto's no longer a planet. So for this PhD student of biochemistry, whom I shall not name, the status of Pluto being a planet in our solar system was a scientific fact. He had seen Pluto hanging from the ceiling of his kindergarten and first grade classrooms. So at first I thought he was kidding. I mean, I too had heard that Pluto had recently been reclassified and it was no longer defined as a planet. But isn't he being a bit dramatic? I love telling this story because it's a great example of science versus scientism. Science is the pursuit of what is true about reality. And science often has to correct itself as we learn more about reality that we didn't know before. Sci Scientism, on the other hand, is the belief that the only thing that can be true is what is proven by science. And it's this deep commitment to scientism that often shocks people when science has to correct itself. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union voted to redefine Pluto as no longer a being a planet. The main reason is because Pluto had large objects orbiting around it. Planets aren't supposed to have these. The problem was that based on this definition, Earth also has large objects orbiting around it. So then why was this definition adopted? Only 10% of the 2,700 members could be present for the vote.